friends, so today we're going to do a little kind of half day vlog. Um, it's currently five o'clock, but today I want to clean and I want to cook. And those seem to be two things that y'all enjoy watching when it comes to my vlogs. So we're gonna do that. I'm going to clean up my kitchen. As you can see, I have dishes in my sink and I just gotta, you know, clean and wipe down things. And then we are going to cook a meal that I've been wanting to cook for you guys because it's something that like Mason made up. Now, I don't know if he actually made this up, but it's so good and so unique and I have everything for it, so I'm gonna make that. And then the last thing I want to do is completely reorganize the like shelving um, that's like my bathroom storage. So I will put a video of it here. So right now, so basically I have two closets right outside my bathroom in between my bathroom and my bedroom, but I don't have any storage in my bathroom. So half of my, half of one of my closets, it's a baker's rack full of basically everything that you would put in your bathroom, your medicine, your extra shampoo, your towels, all of that, that all of that stuff. So basically I want to declutter and organize that. So first half of this vlog is going to be me cleaning my kitchen really quick and cooking myself some dinner. And then the last half is going to be me reorganizing that so so if you want you can just skip to the cleaning and organizing part um, or you can sit and eat with me and chill with me first of all I'm just going to put on some chill music and I'm going to clean up my kitchen really quick We have a clean kitchen. I also highly recommend if you don't have a lot of counter space getting one of these little like basically make your own drying racks over your sink. Um, very very handy. So now we have a clean kitchen space and we're going to cook dinner. So I don't know what even to call this so I'm just gonna make it up. I'm gonna call it broccoli barbecue toast. <laughs> So it is basically you take like nice bread, you don't have to, but like it's pretty hearty so you want like thicker bread, broccoli, um, breakfast patties or vegan breakfast patties, and then onions and I like putting bell pepper in it, um, and then you saute all of it together and then, and then you put mayo and mustard on your piece of bread and drizzle barbecue sauce on top. It is so good. Mason loves experimenting with food and this was one of his experiments that he made and made for me once and then I tried to make it myself and it is so good. So let me go grab all the ingredients real quick. <laughs> you're literally propped up on my drying rack right now. But you're going to need broccoli, bell pepper if you like, or if you like mushrooms, mushrooms would be really good in this. I just don't like mushrooms. Um, butter of your choice, garlic, and an onion and a frying pan. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chop up all of our ingredients pretty small. This is fitting on a piece of toast. Oh, and like I said, you, you want bread. I have this sourdough from a local bakery, but get some nice bread. You can use regular toast, like I said, but the nice bread helps. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do 
is we are going to chop everything up. My coworker taught me this trick, but if you're a sissy when it comes to cutting onions, put a wet paper towel on your cutting board and it helps attract the like scent so that it doesn't like sting your eyes as much. So I'm just going to cut up my onion. Oh God, this one's juicy. Whew. Maybe my paper towel wasn't wet enough. Holy shit. Okay, and then we're going to cut up our broccoli. And the broccoli is the part where you really want to like dice it up pretty small. Obviously, it's going to like shrink down when you cook it. Basically like cutting them like, hello? Do I have to do the YouTuber thing? There we go. <laughs> like little, just cut them into small pieces. Okay, so that is about how much broccoli I've made. The great thing about this recipe is whatever you want. If you want more broccoli, add more broccoli. If you don't like broccoli, add peppers and, and mushrooms, whatever you want. And then I'm going to dice up a bell pepper. Ah! Okay, this is how much we have. Um, I just did one whole small onion. I, I don't know how much broccoli, you saw how much broccoli I cut up. Um, however much broccoli you want. Um, and then I did one entire bell pepper. I love bell pepper, so I like a lot of it. And like I said, I'm also trying to make enough so that there's leftovers tomorrow. So then what we are going to do is we're gonna get our butter and our garlic. This is a bit very butter heavy res recipe. And we're going to saute all of these veggies in butter. I know, I know, I know I should have put the butter down first, let it melt, and then, you know, put the veggies in. But I just needed a vessel because I, cho I chose too small of a cutting board. Here we are. This is where we're at. So then we're going to take a spoonful of garlic. If you don't have a Costco size minced garlic in your refrigerator, I don't trust you. I'm sorry. Ugh. Ugh. And then basically we're going to saute this up until it is nice and cooked and soft and almost burnt. You want to just like really crisp the veggies up and I don't know, just keep adding butter and cook it in it and it is so good. So I'm going to let these veggies cook and yeah, and then we'll check back with you once they're, you know, a little bit more cooked. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my lord. Okay, so this is what it is looking like right now. I'm cooking it over like medium high heat. So this is what we're working with. And then, okay, and then the ingredient that I forgot is breakfast patties. I use these Simple Truth uh, meatless bre breakfast patties, whatever breakfast patties. And then I have already pre-cut my slices of bread. They may be a little thick, but that's okay. So then once my veggies are cooked most of the way, I am going to dice up, I think I'm gonna do two because I made a lot because I'm trying to make leftovers. So I'm gonna dice up two patties and then toss them in the veggie mix. So just dice it up kind of like how we did with the uh, potatoes in my last little vlog where I cooked, where you dice up, I diced up these for the breakfast potatoes. And then I'm just gonna turn, I turned up the heat and we got a little bit of a crisp kind of a burn on some of the broccoli, which again is not, not necessarily a bad thing, but now I'm going to turn it back down to let the veggie patties cook up, cook up and I'm going to add more vegan butter. I gotta show you this. It looks so good. And then for your toast, you're going to need mayo and mustard. This is the Follow Your Heart Veganaise. It is really good. Vegan mayonnaise, and then I'm doing spicy brown mustard. And the most important ingredient is Sweet Baby Ray's. This is the best fucking barbecue sauce in the world. And you don't need barbecue sauce, but like you need barbecue sauce. You know what I mean? Like the barbecue sauce really just like sets it off in a way that I can't describe, it is so good. 
So then I'm kind of clearing off a side of the pan and I'm putting more butter in it. This is a very, very butter heavy recipe. I am not sorry. And we're going to stick our pieces of bread right in that butter on the skillet and wait. All right, this is the situation we have now. Our bread is soaking up that butter. We're crisping it up on either side and then I am just kind of moving the veggies around so that they don't get too burnt. Okay, assembly time, kiddos. Oh God, I'm out of butter knives. God dang it. Okay, well I'm out of butter knives so I have to put mayonnaise on this like a freaking animal with a steak knife. That's okay. So we're just going to put some vegan mayo or regular mayo. I don't judge, whatever you want to eat. And then just a little bit of mustard. It's a little bit. Spread it out. And then we're going to get our mixture. We're going to spoon it onto the toast. Oh, I shouldn't have cut the toast in half. I should have kept it whole, but I wanted this to be aesthetically pleasing, which obviously I'm great at making aesthetically pleasing cooking videos because, you know, that's what I'm known for. We're just going to pile it on. And we have a lot of leftovers, which I'm really excited about. So pile it on. Just really get it on there. It's all going to fall off when you bite into it anyways. I'm going to tell you that right now. So have a little extra on your plate so that way you can build your perfect bite after some fall off. And then the best part, we're gonna drizzle some barbecue sauce. Normally, I dead ass, and Mason will do this too, we will literally take Ziploc bags and make DIY piping bags so that we can drizzle barbecue sauce across this because we're bougie, but we, I don't have that. So I'm just gonna try to drizzle barbecue sauce as much as I can. Ugh, okay. It's not as much of a drizzle as I would like. But here we are. It is so good. Look at it. I'm so excited. Okay, this is like a, uh, you need the plate right next to your face for this. Okay, it's all gonna fall off, but it's delicious. Mm, mm-hmm, mm. It's so good. I realize I forgot to season my veggies, but with everything on here, it really tastes fine, but normally I would do like garlic, salt, pepper, you know, the normal, but it's so good, y'all. And then as everything falls off, I just pick it back up and put it back on and make the bite that I need. I need a napkin. I have barbecue sauce in my nose. <laughs> I am going to watch an episode of The Sopranos and eat this, and then I'll be back to take you guys through organizing my bathroom area. Okay friends, I've eaten and I pulled myself away from the TV, otherwise I would just keep watching The Sopranos over and over and over. First I'm just gonna pull everything, like all the baskets off of the racks. Here, let me show you what we have right now. So I have this baker's rack and I have like hair care, skin care, hair dye, my like heat tools for my hair, um, cleaning supplies, towels, basically, again, like I said, like I said, all stuff, oh my gosh, my nose is just so bad, pretty much, like I said, all things that would normally be in your bathroom. So, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull everything out, and then, I think I'm gonna pull everything out, pull what I don't want, like, pull what I'm gonna get rid of, and then organize them by type? I don't know. Let's just start with pulling everything out. Okay, the only thing I didn't pull out is the bucket with my like heat tools because I don't really need to declutter that. Everything I have, I like in there and I'm gonna keep. I have all of my baskets of things in here. So I have like one basket of hair care. I do also want to just like put it out there right now. Not everything in here is cruelty free. Things have been given to me. I maybe just don't have a cruelty-free replacement. Whatever it is, okay? So like, I use Colgate toothpaste. I don't think Colgate is cruelty-free. I'm not perfect with my cruelty-free consumption. So just wanna put that out there. That being said, if you have a really good cruelty-free uh, toothpaste recommendation, please comment down below and let me know. <laughs> Everything is just so haphazard and all over the place. 
I don't really know where to start with all this. I think what I'm gonna do first is organize everything by category. So like hair care, skin care, body care, medicine. So I'm going to do that really quick, I think. Okay, so we have hair care over here, we have body care, and then we have oral care and um, medicine here. Oh, I also have this bin <laughs> that has my first aid kit, and it has tampons and pads and band-aids. So I'm gonna put that there in my like cleaning um, my mat that I use to clean my makeup brushes and then just a fuck ton of scrunchies Which I'm gonna take out of here because I don't want them in there And then I have a basket with all my hand towels in it um, I'm just gonna keep that the same because I don't really feel the need to change it. I also have my bathtub Which is my tub full of all of my bath products. So this is all This is pretty much all lush and then I just have dr. Teal's the lavender um uh, body, what, what's it called? Um, the salt, the, 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 the salts, <laughs> salt. Oh my God, I need to go to bed. I think I'm just gonna keep this the same because I feel like I need to see everything I have so that I can use it up. Cause I feel like if I like try to hide that at all or like put it in like a deeper bin, I won't see it and then I won't use it and then it's all gonna go bad. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take this deep bin and I'm gonna put my cleaning supplies. So I have like my toilet bowl cleaner um, and then like my carpet cleaner, my extra bars of soap. This is from like my brother makes this soap. So I'm gonna toss that in there and my um, cleaning mat for my brushes. Let's see what other, do I have any other cleaning supplies here? And I'm also, I think I'm gonna put my rubber gloves in there as well. I had these with hair care, obviously, since I dyed my hair, but I just feel like it makes more sense to have them with the cleaning products, and that way it looks all nice and tucked away. Okay, I think I'm gonna turn this basket into my medicine basket. So, my parents got me like a Costco thing of toothpaste, so I have a fuck ton of non-cruelty free toothpaste, so I gotta use those up. Okay, so I'm just going to start stacking my medicine in this basket, all my crumbs, and I'm also going to throw away anything that, you know, is expired or whatever. This is my travel case for my toothbrush. More toothpaste, how, about, how do I have so much fucking toothpaste? Pamprin, Vagisil medicated wipes that I'm pretty sure are expired. Yep. And floss. And then I have back up tampons and pads. And then I think I'm going to my dentist. You know how dentists give you disposable toothbrushes, right? Like just like a little cheapy. My dentist gave me a full on like battery powered toothbrush. Oh, oh, this, what? Ridiculous. Here is my medicine and oral care and feminine care basket, you know, the, uh, the essentials basket. Let's see, what do I want to declutter next? I think I'm going to do this basket. This basket is going to be hard because I have a lot in here. I have aloe vera gel. I have Mario Badescu enzyme cleansing gel. This used to be my favorite, um, face wash. I'm going to keep it just in case I run out of my face wash. So that way I have face wash. I have a ton of Bath and Body Works lotion that I think my coworker gave me. Like she gave me so much Bath and Body Works lotion. I may bring it back to work. It may be rude, but like, I just, I don't, I don't need this much lotion. So I think I'm going to bring these back to work and see if the work ladies want some um grapeseed oil sweet almond oil sunscreen aquaphor um i have so much lube i did a sponsored instagram post with a lube brand so i have a fuck ton of lube gonna hold on to that and then i just have like various oils um i have the ordinary aha peel 
So I'm gonna keep most of this. I'm going to get rid of this like super old Acure oil, aloe vera gel. And then you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put, cause I have backups of shampoo and conditioner. So that way, obviously, if I run out in the shower, I have something. So I just have this Aloe Botanica conditioner, um, this Hask shampoo, and then I also have a Giovanni conditioner. I am going to keep all of that in this basket and have this be like my backup basket. You know what I mean? Like my kind of just storage backup basket. So that way, when I run out of shampoo, conditioner, face wash, body oil, body lotion, it's all in here. Lube, <laughs> got all the lube I need. So I'm going to put this on the shelf. I wish all of my baskets were the same color, but I, it's, it's okay. I don't, I don't need to have that. Okay, this is like where I keep like more skin and body care. So I have these Sally Hansen wax strips. I don't, I don't know how long I've had these. I'm going to get rid of them. It's not cruelty free. Um, I'm gonna bring them to work ladies, see if my work ladies want them. I have, these are e.l.f. Hydrogel under eye masks. I'm gonna keep them and I'm gonna put them in my skincare fridge. They are my favorite. Oh, ah, go, okay. Loving tan. It's my favorite. And then I have the Loving Tan Bronze Shimmer Mousse. Bay Republic Mineral Sunscreen. I have this Bliss Deep Huff. I think these were a gift. And then I also have this hand cream by Raw Sugar. I'm actually gonna put this in my purse because I need a good portable hand cream for my purse. And then I think I'm gonna put these Bliss Under Eye Patches in my skincare fridge as well. Oh, I have an I have a lush cup of coffee face mask that is leaking everywhere. It still smells fine. Hang on, I'm going to go rinse off everything because it like leaked. So I will be right back. Oh, I have my bins here. They are cleaned out. So what I think I'm going to do, I think instead of organizing things by like hair care, skin care, whatever, I think I'm gonna use, like I think I'm gonna organize things by like I use things, like my most frequently used and not as frequently used. So first I'm gonna take this bin because this bin is a little bit deeper and everything always falls over in this bin. I'm just going to switch things over. So first I'm it's almost out. I guess I'll just use it up. This is the Paul Mitchell soft spray. This is my favorite hairspray. So I have the Eva NYC dry shampoo. I have my hairspray. I have the Paul Mitchell soft spray. And this is a Tresemme hairspray. It's not cruelty free. I'm gonna use it up though. I grabbed it for a wedding that I did last summer because I needed a cheap, you know, hairspray that it could be used on everyone. I have this Aveda Shampure dry shampoo and dry conditioner. Is this still good? I think I'm gonna keep the dry conditioner. The stuff's really nice, but it can weigh your hair down. Um, I'm going to declutter the dry shampoo. I have an empty 11 Australia Miracle hair treatment. This is empty, I'm gonna throw it away. I have the Pacifica Native Flower Nourishing Hair Oil. I love this stuff. I wish they still had it. I don't believe they do anymore. I have this Big Sexy Hair Powder Play. Again, I don't think this is cruelty free, but I think I've had this since before I was cruelty free. I've had this for so long. It's like a volumizing thing. I don't use it. I'm going to declutter it. And then I have my Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse and the Bronze Shimmer Cream. So I'm gonna put that in there. Um, Bay Republic Sunscreen. And then I think I'm just gonna scoot everything up a little bit. And in the back, I'm gonna put my bronzing mitts and my little uh, back thing. I have these like hair treatments. I have a Sant Tropica one and a Hask one. I guess I'll just toss in there. And then I have this body scrub. I don't know where this body scrub came from, but maybe I'll just toss it in my, in my shower so that I use it. Okay, so this stuff is stuff I reach for a lot, so it's all together now. I just have my hair dye, that's it. So, can I put this in here nicely? So I just have my, you know, bowls and brushes and things. I have an Arctic Fox Green that I need to find somebody who, <laughs> obviously this was from a long time ago. I don't like Arctic Fox. The hair care is nice. I don't like the owner of Arctic Fox. I bought this because I really couldn't find any other dark green near me. This was also like 
start of the pandemic, so everything was out everywhere. Um, don't like the owner of Arctic Fox, though. Don't really want to support them anymore. Um, so that's that. But I just need to find somebody who has green hair. And then I have all of my X Mondo color. I don't... I, these are so big. I feel like they should just sit next to the basket. You know what I mean? Like, they're just... It's just so much. So I think I will toss that in there. That. And then... There we go. I can put all of my hair ties and scrunchies, my like crappy scrunchies in there. Okay, and then I, this is, it's so silly, but like obviously it's sentimental. I have Mason's uh, like body spray and deodorant here. Obviously like he kept deodorant and body spray here. He kept like a bunch of stuff here and I have a bunch of stuff up there. I keep this because I miss him and every once in a while I will spray his body spray on my PJs so I can smell him to go to sleep. So I'm gonna find a spot for that. Okay, oh my gosh, we got rid of so much stuff. Now I'm just like on a cleaning spree and I just want to clean a bunch of things. I will show you what it looks like now. So this is what it looks like now. Just a lot cleaner, neater. I mean, it's still, you know, a bunch of stuff, but now I have a little bit of extra space if I have anything that I want to put there. And then just above here, I keep my keepsake boxes and then extra storage. Or I have my extensions in the little basket, but yeah, this is... This is the after. I think it looks really nice. So I have my towels, my bath products, my cleaning products, and then my um, first aid kit right there. I have my hair tools. I have my medicine basket. I have my backup basket. I have all of my skin and hair care that I use frequently, hair dye stuff, my towels, and then toilet paper and wet wipes. That feels so much better. I haven't gotten a chance to like deep clean my like that closet since I moved I just moved all of my stuff and just tossed it all in there so it feels so much better now but yeah I think I'm just gonna chill and relax now so let me know if you guys like these videos it's just kind of like I said vlog but I love cooking and I love cleaning so figured I'd bring you guys along with me so I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video